Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Edison TV. Today we are delighted to be joined by Gregor Broner, CEO of Crotech Instruments, a leading manufacturer of satellite systems, components and advanced electronics for quantum computer controlled systems and other applications. Welcome Greg, great to see you and thanks for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here, thank you. So to kick off, could you provide a quick overview of Crotech and its activities? Yes, sure. Creotech uh, Instrument is active actually in two deep tech sectors. Uh, the first one is uh, space markets, uh, and the second one, uh, as you said, is uh, quantum systems. Within the space market, uh, we are the largest entity in Central Europe. Uh, we have uh, 200 employees on board. We take part in 25 uh, European space agency projects and programs. We are on board of uh, 35 spec spacecrafts at the moment with our electronics and uh, systems. Uh, we have our own production capabilities, clean rooms, uh, electronics assembly lines uh, that were actually certified by the European Space Agency. Uh, this is something very unique, at least uh, for this part of Europe. Uh, however, preparing and developing subsystems for space mission uh, for space missions is not our ultimate goal. We are finalizing work on our microsatellite uh, multi-mission platform, which is actually dedicated to space missions in the range of between 20 uh, and uh, 60 kilograms of, ma of mass. Uh, this will be a tool uh, as uh, pay Swiss knife, uh, if you wish, uh, for other space companies. Uh, if you are a company with a goal of operating your own small satellites and you have a payload, you can come to us and we'll provide you a space platform on which you will fly your own mission, making your life and business simpler and much faster. The second market uh, are quantum systems. For space application, we need uh, a reliable and fast electronics. And we decided to look for other markets where the needs are much more similar. We have chosen quantum system markets. Uh, we are present in quantum computers landscape developing and providing control and measurement electronics for quantum computing. Uh, inter alia, we are taking part in a big international project uh, with an aim to construct a large quantum computer of 1000 qubits for the European Commission. We are starting also to be present in a quantum key distribution market, which is much bigger and much more mature. Uh, we have been selected recently uh, for the uh, big program by the European Commission to be one of just a few suppliers of hardware for future quantum key distribution network at the continent. Great. And um, can you discuss your regional and more global ambitions? Well, uh, Creotech was meant uh, from the beginning to be, to be a global company. Uh, neither space applications uh, or quantum systems are sold locally. 95% of our products are being sold abroad of Poland. Uh, we have our benchmark clients uh, for the space market. Uh, our most important client is a European Space Agency, while for quantum systems, uh, it is the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN. But we are working with many, many other private and public clients. We are deliver delivering products for five different uh, to five different continents, and among our customers are. For instance, uh, Oxford University, MIT, Berkeley Laboratories, Thales, Airbus, or Orange Telecom. Soon, we'll be opening our new offices uh, in Germany, and we plan to establish Creotech presence uh, on USA soil, as we are starting to work also for NASA programs. And why is the space tech market particularly attractive for Creotech? Hmm. Well, um, uh, Creotech is actually a mix. We take uh, standards uh, and quality from so-called old space companies uh, while we are trying to be agile, fast uh, and affordable to meet demands of so-called new space market. Uh, we do not want to be yet another company flying its own satellites uh, and delivering services down to earth. Uh, there are a lot of uh, such companies on the market and plans to build in the next 10 to 15 years 30,000 or so of new small satellites. We would like to take advantage of this trend. With 30,000 new satellites planned, uh, there will be a huge space uh, for companies that will produce and deliver those spacecrafts. Uh, Creotech is a company that will do this. 
Uh, we will stay a little bit, uh, let's say, in the shadow, uh, delivering the best satellites and the best solutions for all of those businesses in Europe and USA who would like to fly their own satellite constellations. Uh, and this is a huge and blooming market. Great. And what are your ambitions for your hypersat microsatellite platform? Well, a Creotec multi-mission platform called Hypersat will be serving a certain niche. We are interested in satellites between 20 and 60 kilograms. In the future, we hope to go a little bit above that to 200 kilograms. Uh, our platform could host the optical payload, radar payload, telecommunication payload, and many, many other systems. The test flight of the platform, the Hypersat platform, will happen in the beginning of the next year. Uh, if everything goes smoothly, and uh, well, it will, uh, this time next year, we'll have a, a satellite platform with a space heritage and a huge mar market waiting for this solution. Even now, without Space Heritage, we have our first commercial client for small constellation, Polish military, uh, Polish Ministry of Defense, um, uh, for which we are preparing three small satellites that will be flying in 2025. We are also in advanced uh, discussions with several other potential clients. Uh, the ambition is pretty simple. We are going to be one of just a few companies in Europe with an ability to build and sell microsatellites. How large is the quantum computer market and how fast is it expected to grow? Well, a uh, quantum computer market is uh, still pretty small and pretty young. Uh, the total revenue at this market uh, last year was roughly 500 million of dollars. However, it is growing very, very fast, 30% uh, year by year. It will surpass uh, $5 billion in 2030 and actually, Creotech is on top of this wave. So what areas of quantum computers are you seeking to commercialize? Uh, again, uh, Creotech would like to be a little bit in the shadow. We will not build our own quantum CPU. Uh, it is still beyond our reach, uh, to be honest. And uh, what we would like to do is to provide, uh, provide best tools uh, to control and operate quantum CPUs. Uh, and this is what we are actually doing. Therefore, we are not very much focused on the final application of quantum computers, be it a financial market, a new medicines market, or telecommunication market. Quantum CPU is just a quantum CPU. Someone has to steer it, someone has to control it, um, and uh, some, someone has to you know, define all the processes that are happening inside the quantum CPU, uh, independent on the final market. And that is what uh, our products, uh, our Creotech products will do. And what's your ultimate EBITDA margin ambitions in each segment? Well, uh, in our business, uh, space business, quantum business, uh, sky is not even the limit. Um, so in the past, we are delivering subsystems, and now we are moving up, and soon we'll be delivering either systems for quantum market or systems of systems for space missions. It means that our margin is growing uh, as our products become more and more complex. The ultimate goal for the margin is between 50 and 80 percent, uh, which is actually what you would expect uh, for deep tech solutions. Can you talk a bit about capital allocation? Yeah, we, we have gathered roughly 10 million of euros from Polish Stock Exchange uh, uh, last year and two years ago. Uh, that is actually not a lot if you are thinking about a deep tech company. Uh, however, we can act, act minimalistic, but still with a great momentum. Uh, we are finishing to build our first 60 kilogram satellite, a mission that will be on, on our an orbit validation and demonstration flight for the multi-mission Hypersat platform. Uh, it will fly, fly as, I, as I said, early next year. Uh, we are also in the process of extending our clean rooms and production capabilities. We plan to finish this process at the end of this year, and then we'll be ready to integrate and produce at least five small satellites, uh, satellite units in parallel uh, at the same time. Finally, we have started commercialization of our first products intended for the quantum market. Uh, here we are building a strong uh, international business development group. And to finish off, what does the investment in capacity and testing facilities deliver for Crowtech? Yeah, we are now fully vertically integrated. 
Uh, we can design spacecrafts and quantum systems. We can produce them at our own facilities. Finally, we can test them to provide the best quality for our clients. With our own facilities, uh, um, uh, we have a full control on the, pro on the products, but also a full control over the processes that are being imposed. It means also that we can inflate, inflate our margin uh, as the costs are also fully under our control. Well, thank you so much, Greg, for your time. Thank you a lot.